So this is a little fire riding through the five-star test. There's a new test this year. He rode through the five-star test last year at Babington. But this is um, the different one. So we're practicing all the new movements. And it's very good to be riding through the test at home. He should have done Kentucky a week or so ago. So um, this is all good time for him to get ahead of the game. And um, he needs to be kept a little bit active, needs to have something to think about. So I was very pleased with, again, his attitude. Lovely start, lovely and straight. Can go a little bit wide in his first halts. And there, again, medium trot really coming well, working on the transition. He does have a little spook every now and again at something, um, as you'll see. But that is, that's the real world. Um, really pleased now with how he's coming into that outline, um, really grown up, getting more strength and power. Off into the half pass there. It's a very funny first movement. This half pass left, circle right, half pass sh shoulder and right, turn left. It's all twisty and turning. So it's really testing your control of the horse in exactness, controlling the quarters, no crookedness allowed. So again, nice bit of shoulder in there, nice and straight. Very pleased with that. And um, now we're going into the extended. Good transition up. Shame he's doing a dropping. But yeah, good. Good, good. Not going any quicker. Really holding his rhythm. He got a lovely mark for that. Let's get him coming back. Um, you know, he's a smart horse and he should score very well in the dressage. So it's a really good opportunity now to start to get things a bit more polished. Focus on these details. Lovely bit of bend there. Lovely. Yeah, pleased with that. Sometimes the right bend doesn't always come. And my circle's a little bit smaller. I think my circles are a little bit big. And so a little bit of a spook came as a result of that into shoulder in, don't put those quarters out. Very good to work, very good to see these videos and be aware how obvious it is when you do make a little mistake and they do put their quarters out or they do bob a rhythm like there. He just came into a walk and then did a stride of trot, which is a real shame because you lose a mark in the medium there. And now he's into the extended and that's great. Um, but yeah, riding through a test and thinking there's no second go, this is it really highlights what you need to work on and what you need to focus on in your training. Um, putting things together is very important. I like to ride through tests, not always the tests they're going to do, and I might add a few little changes um, so the horse isn't going to anticipate, but they're quite good to put all these things together. Yeah, very good medium there. Um, he's a horse scores very well in his walk. Um, he's always quite a, got a good, quite a good step in that. Off into halt, a little bit off behind. Shame, because he's good at those. And then the rain back, he's going, what? So that wasn't very good. Off into canter nicely. And then we'll try and do a medium without spooking. It's quite funny how when you're doing a test, they suddenly find things to spook at when you're training and working, and they tend to just get on with it. Um, when you suddenly put things together, they can tell that... Um, they get distracted. And he's a horse and he's got very good natural changes, but very often his changes are too exuberant. He uses them as a bit of an excuse to explode. So I've been working on containing those changes and um, you know, not throwing marks away because he does lovely expressive um, changes and it's a shame to lose points. Again, yeah, nice bit of bend, nice flowing, really work now. It's a tricky movement, calf pass straight, and change, and straight, and turns. Good discipline. Opportunity to lose lots of marks. Um, he would have got some marks there. Very pleased with that. Half pass forward, nice and flowing, nice and curvy. Keep the expression coming. And then straight, and change, and straight, and turn. That's what you want. You really want to show that difference and that control. Um, so yes, we were really looking forward to Kentucky. It's a real shame. His owner, Jenny Dowling, and I were looking forward to a nice trip to the States. It wasn't to be, so maybe next year. Nice extension, and now stretching down, breathing, relaxing. Funny movement to think it's a five-star movement and you're cantering around like you're on a four-year-old. But some horses find it really tough. He does it well. Again, would have scored very well for that. Nice and relaxed. Now together. Now preparing for a change. He knows there might be a change coming, but he's got to be relaxed, he's got to be submissive, and he's got to wait for me. Yeah, a little bit of acceleration, 
So rhythm will be criticised. But again, he's done four clean changes, so we're getting somewhere. Those are all looking good. He wouldn't have scored a bad mark for any of them. Um, I always think when I'm doing a dress size chest, I'm really focusing on solidness, not flashness. Really focusing on those seven marks and then edging towards an eight. And certainly in that test, apart from maybe for his jog, he shouldn't have scored less than a seven and he could easily have scored the odd nine or two. Lovely finish at the end. But as you can see, he likes to sometimes splay his legs, but he is good and square and good and straight.